At the crossroads of three continents and in close proximity to the Middle East, Cyprus was once again placed on the world map during the Lebanese crisis in the summer of 2006. When a flood of persons of all ages, mainly foreign nationals, started fleeing Lebanon, Cyprus opened its ports and airports to welcome some 60,000 of them. Furthermore, no sooner had the crisis broken out than the government and the people of Cyprus in general responded to the need for humanitarian assistance in Lebanon. Cyprus placed at the disposal of the international community its mechanisms and infrastructure for the quick and efficient dispatch to Lebanon of the international humanitarian aid sent to the areas ravaged by the war via Cyprus. Tons of humanitarian aid comprising food, monetary donations, medical supplies, clothing, bedding, was sent through the island's ports and airports. In parallel, Cyprus continued to set up additional infrastructure and mechanisms to be placed at the disposal of foreign governments for the repatriation or relocation of their citizens fleeing Lebanon. Cruise liners were deployed to ferry people from Lebanon to Cyprus. Hundreds of flights carried thousands of foreign nationals who were evacuated from Lebanon to return to their countries of origin. Local services, the resources of which were stretched to the limit, did an excellent job. Physicians, psychologists, medical equipment, and professional staff were constantly available both on board the cruise liners bearing people from Lebanon and on the spot at Cypriot ports and airports. What is happening in Lebanon is of course a catastrophe. I mean, who could possibly watch the pictures of innocent civilians being killed? There are also, incidentally, innocent civilians killed in Israel, too, without wanting this to stop now. But it has to stop on both sides. A crisis management center open on a 24-hour basis and a coordinating body were set up for the handling of the situation created by the continuous influx of foreign citizens who fled Lebanon. Citizens used Cyprus as a safety bridge, a transit hub for their safe transfer and rescue, a warm welcoming place where they could feel secure. Local infrastructure was placed at the disposal of the UN with regard to the deployment of a peacekeeping force in Lebanon with the use of the port of Larnaca and Limassol, as well as the Andreas Papandreou military base on the western coast. Cyprus became a springboard for the transfer of some 15,000 UN peacekeepers to Lebanon. The Cyprus Ministry of Defense offered facilities to all military aircraft such as the C-130 and helicopters of foreign countries transporting their citizens to Larnaca Airport. The Cyprus government made school premises and the grounds of the International State Fair available to some 8,000 American citizens as temporary shelters until their departure from Cyprus could be arranged. Cypriot bakeries and supermarkets provided fresh bread and marmalade on a daily basis. We have secured uh, a lot of hotel rooms. Uh, we've secured space in some schools. Uh, we've also secured some space at uh, the Cyprus International Fairgrounds in Nicosia where uh, we have uh, uh, put cots as well. It cannot be denied that Cyprus handled this major humanitarian effort in an exemplary manner. European Union officials and foreign governments repeatedly thanked Cyprus and its people for the exceptional assistance they had provided to their citizens who were fleeing Lebanon, praising the professionalism and quick response of the Cyprus authorities. Ma visite était destinée à transmettre un message de remerciement du président Chirac au président Chirépriot. And once again we see uh, Cyprus uh, with us, with the Lebanese people acting as Lebanese and, uh, and uh, in real, real humanitarian uh, help that Lebanon needs it. Lebanon's ambassador to Cyprus, Michel El Khoury, said we have witnessed the goodness of their heart and the human face of Cyprus and its people, but we have also seen the resolve of the government, its institutions, 
and services to help us. The executive director of the UN World Food Program, James Moores, thanked Cyprus for its contribution, saying the people of Cyprus must know that they have played a highly important role for the achievement of the positive results of the UN in the Lebanon crisis. At the peak of its tourist season, Cyprus opened its skies, its seas, and its heart to foreign citizens in need. Cypriots, themselves victims of war and having 200,000 Cypriot refugees in their own country, are particularly sensitive when it comes to issues of human pain and suffering.